Hello guys, this video is a tutorial on how to create a panorama by stitching together multiple of your own images using a free software. So by the end of the video, you will be able to download this free software and within a couple clicks creating your own panorama. To get started, we will open up our browser and copy paste in a link. You will find this link in the description below and the link should take you here or you can download the latest version of Huggin 2018. Once the program has downloaded, we will install it. Once Huggin has installed, you will find the icon on your desktop. Go ahead and open it up. They will provide you with tips if you need them. And this is the layout of the panorama stitcher. So, to load your images, you will hit this button. And I already, ha I already have my images um, set up. So I'm going to select all the images that I want in my panorama. And I've done, I believe, what I've done is six to seven, um, six to seven images. I haven't tried uh, putting in more, so I don't know if that would work. And I was unable to select and process raw files, so I'm all, you're only able to do JPEG, as far as I know. Once you've selected all your images, you will get this screen here, and you have to put in the focal length that you took the images in. So I have a 18 millimeter to 55 millimeters. So I took these at 18 millimeters. And if you have a crop sensor, you will have to um, multiply the focal length by 1.5. If you have a full frame sensor and you took it at, let's say 18 millimeters, then um, just put one in there. Um, if you have a crop sensor, multiply by 1.5. Press OK. And the panorama stitcher will generate your images here in a row. It's not stitched yet, so you're going to have to go to this next button, button number 2, which says Align. Click on that, and you're going to have to wait for the program to process and stitch your images together. Alright, so once your images have been stitched, um, you have a choice of either creating the panorama the way it is right now, or you can um, move and crop your image in a certain way, kind of frame it. If there's a little extra, like right here, there's a little too much rock. So to do that, you will cl uh, click on crop. There's a button right here at the top. Click on that. And now you're able to adjust your crop. So let's say I put it there. Um, probably move this this way. That way I can lower the bottom just a tiny bit to have some height in my panorama. All right. Once you're satisfied with what you have. As far as the crop goes, you will hit back, you will hit assistant, that way it takes you back to all the buttons, um, and now you will click button number three, which is to create the panorama. Click that, this window will pop out, and you have an option of exposure corrected, low dynamic range, which is what I have been using lately. Um, or you can do exposure fuse from stacks or exposure fuse from any arrangement. Um, let's see, LDR format. So I've tried JPEG versus TIFF, and TIFF, in my opinion, was producing better quality images. 
Uh, the JPEG was a little more softer than TIFF, so I just used TIFF. Uh, once you've done, once you've selected one of these, one of these three, um, click OK, and it'll tell you that you need to save your project, which you can do. Save desktop, and it'll start process processing, finalizing your um, your panorama. Once your panorama is complete. Um, it'll say batch successfully completed and you can close that window and go to your desktop to see the panorama you have just created. Once your panorama opens up, uh, what I like to do is zoom in and start from like the very left or from the very right and just kind of let it load and just kind of swipe through it to make sure there are no like blurry areas where the stitching may have gone wrong so because I've had that once so just go through it real quick make sure everything is um, clear there's no blurry spots and there's your panorama so from here you can color grade it um, another thing that I like to do is add a white border around it and then you could put your name at the bottom somewhere just a few extra touches like on this one right here that you see that's my background so there's my white border my name and there it is that's the panorama so I hope you guys found this video helpful and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for future tutorials and videos and I'll see you guys next time thanks